Our lesson for reflection today is actually got a title. And it's how to truly know Jesus. Christ asks two questions of the disciples. Who do people say that I am? And who do you say that I am? There are three steps to knowing the Christ. The gospel teaches us the three steps to help us learn who Jesus really is. These are to know, to witness, and to accept the path that God has chosen for him. The first step, knowing Jesus. That knowing Jesus is what we all do when we read the gospel, when we take children to catechesis, to mass and to service. However, it is only the first step. The second step is being a witness to Jesus. The second is to publicly acknowledge Jesus. In order to do so, we need the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. One cannot do so alone, and therefore the Christian community must always seek the power of the Holy Spirit to witness to Jesus, to say that he is God and he is the Son of God. The third step, accepting Jesus' death. But what is the purpose of Jesus' life? Why has he come? Answering this question means taking the third step on the way to knowing him. Recall that Jesus began to teach his apostles that he had to suffer, he had to be killed, and then rise again. Witnessing to Jesus is bearing witness to his death, his resurrection, and it is not proclaiming, you are God, and stopping there. No, you came for us, you died for us, you are resurrected. You give us life. You promised us the Holy Spirit to guide us. Witnessing to Jesus means accepting the path that the Father chose for him. Humiliation. Paul, writing to the Philippians, says that God sent his Son who emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. He humbled himself even unto death, death on a cross. If we do not accept the path of Jesus, the path of humiliation that, we, that he has chosen for redemption, not only are we not Christians, we deserve what Jesus said to Peter. Get behind me, Satan. Satan knows well that Jesus is the Son of God, but that Jesus refuses to accept his witness in the same way that he distances Peter when Peter rejects the path chosen by Jesus. Witnessing to Jesus means accepting the path of humility and humiliation. The Christian church makes a mistake when she the Christian church makes a mistake when she does not follow this path. She instead becomes too worldly. Ask instead for the grace of being consistent as Christians. The grace to follow Jesus on his way to the cross, even to humiliation, 
during this annual journey. Amen.